Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another live stream by the Options School. This is your friend Pradeep Singla. So, in our series, let's talk about strategy. This is strategy number five. We have already done uh, four strategies: uh, short strangle, short straddle, iron condor, ratio spread. All these four strategies are covered. Now, fifth strategy. This is one of my favorite strategies: calendar spreads. Let us today talk about what are calendar spreads. Now again, this is a two-leg strategy, one of the simplest strategy, and uh, but I will say uh, one of the best strategies, but very underutilized strategy. It involves buying and selling of options. It can be done with calls, so it is known as call calendar spread. If you do it with puts, it is a put calendar spread. Best thing is it is a limited profit and limited loss strategy. So if you see short strangle, short straddle, they are limited profit, but unlimited loss in this case it's a limited profit and uh, limited loss so defined risk is there that makes it much better than many other strategies uh, when to do when a trader wants to trade in a low wicks environment so uh, if we see right now wicks is around 13 to 14 and it's it's quite low compared to a normal wicks generally if wicks is more than 17 18 we can say it's it's a normal wicks but if wicks is hovering around 12 13 14 then none of the other selling strategies make much of the much of sense because with movements in the market those selling strategies can really cause uh, big damages in the account this is one of the strategy i will not say this is a selling strategy this is a buying strategy because it is a net debit strategy so this strategy works really well in low wicks environment because in case uh, you create this strategy in a low wicks and from there wicks goes up it will be really useful for this strategy it is also a decay strategy but because it's limited limited loss uh, limited risk strategy it can be used independently plus it can be used fantastically well with other strategies as a repair strategy for example you want to use this strategy in iron counter as a repair strategy when the trade is going beyond the limit then definitely calendar spread is a very good repair strategy for iron counter also for butterfly also right and this is very very popular with positional as well as intraday traders who are uh, a little bit experienced in options trading they use this strategy very extensively and i will say uh, at least 50 percent of my trades are also in calendar spreads only what is the margin required again a big advantage margin required if you're talking about nifty is in the range of 18 to 25,000 only right so very little margin required this is the biggest strength of the strategy so if there are uh, new traders basically we have started this series for traders who want a little bit of exposure on different different strategies so this is the strategy number five we are discussing so uh, uh, if you are not aware then many times people feel that okay i have only one lakh rupees can i come to stock markets and start uh, selling options so this is one strategy even if there is a low capital uh, available with the trader definitely very effectively very profitably this strategy can be used because creating one calendar spread requires hardly uh, 18 to 20, 25,000 rupees. I will show you that also. Right? And what about break-even points? How many break-even points are there? Can anybody tell me how many break-even points are there in calendar spreads? So, uh, like most of the other strategies uh, in options, calendar spread also has two break-even points. One is on the upside and one is on the downside if these trades are executed properly they can be uh, very very rewarding trades and not only nifty this strategy can be used very effectively in bank nifty also and in some of the stocks also so you are not required to predict the direction of the market and it's a non-directional trade and uh, can be done in nifty can be done in bank nifty can be done in some highly liquid stocks also uh, what about profitability if i'm uh, you see selecting a particular strategy obviously i should be concerned about okay what kind of profits i can make in this uh, strategy so it's a fast profit strategy it's a it's a high decay strategy which gives you four to five percent on monthly basis but there can be some trades which can uh, which can be uh, left uh, till expiry so they can give even 10 percent also but i'm not saying that okay we should be looking for 10% kind of returns no 4 to 5% are uh, uh, a very fair expectation from 
this kind of a strategy. So four to five percent means that okay, if you are spending uh, twenty thousand rupees in this strategy, so five uh, percent of that is roughly around thousand to twelve hundred rupees. There are very very high chances that okay, you always make that kind of profit in these strategies. So since it is a risk defined strategy, so even in case of extreme moments, uh, there will be not much damages, and they are definitely much much safer compared to other open strategies like short strangle and short sterile and obviously one should not wait till expiry and should close the trade earlier as soon as your profit targets are there now let me show you an example uh, this is a call calendar spread so what is a calendar spread in calendar spread what you are doing is you are uh, selling the nearer expiry and you are buying the farther expiry the difference in the decay will be your profit now in this case what we have done we have sold 18500 january expiry we have purchased 18,500 Feb expiry and ultimately we are able to get this kind of a payoff diagram. This trade is safe from 18,000 to 19,000. So a good 1,000 points range market is exactly at 18,500. And if you see the risk reward, see what a fantastic risk reward. Uh, 9,309 is a profit. Max loss is 9,038. 9,038 will never happen because obviously the purchased call of 18,500 will not become zero on expiry of 25th January. So all the payoff diagrams, all the uh, software showing this payoff diagram uh, exaggerate this loss. This loss will never be 9,000. It will be much, much, much lesser than uh, what is shown here and profit can definitely be high. And if you see estimated margin is just 18,000 rupees. So this is a call blender, just less than 20,000 rupees margin. A risk reward better than one is to one because the loss shown is on a higher side it will never lose uh, that much of uh, money because uh, 23rd february call will not become zero even if market on 25th january expires at 17,500, it will still retain some value so if it retains let us say a value of uh, let's say 100 rupees then also it means out of this 9000 5000 is still there so max loss will be 4000 only so very, uh, very, very risk defined strategy. So this is an example of call calendar spread. Let me show you an example of put calendar spread also. Here it's a put calendar spread where I have selected a strike price of 18,300, sold January in 183 rupees, purchased Feb in 282 rupees. Again, a good risk reward ratio, minus seven to six, six will never be the loss. One is to one, it will be better than one is to one. And it's giving me a good range of uh, around 700 points and it is costing me 22,000 rupees. So very similar to uh, the call calendar spread, put calendar spread are also very similar. Only thing is generally as a trader, you try to make out of the money calendar spread. So if you're making a put calendar spread, you will go slightly lower than the market. And if you're making a call calendar spread, you will go slightly higher than the market. So since market is at 18,400, so if you want to make call calendar spread, you will try to make 18,500 or 18,600 call calendar. If uh, you want to make a put calendar spread, you will make lower than 18,400, maybe 18,300 or 18,200 put calendar spread. There can be a double calendar spread also. And all of you who are already uh, subscribers of this channel, please go ahead and click on the like button. And all of you who are new to the channel, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button we we will continue to give you exposure on many hedged trading strategies and then there can be a double calendar spread also double calendar spread means i am making a call calendar also i am making a put calendar also so in this case if you see this example here i have taken 18300 put calendar and 18600 call calendar i have taken again jan feb positions i have not taken december January positions because December uh, the the available premium and available time is very less. So it's always better that we go for monthly monthly that gives us a pretty wide range of a trade within which uh, we can be profitable. So in this case also uh, a good decent roll. See this. It is showing me 25.81%. Both put calendar plus call calendar is costing me only 40,000 rupees. And in this 40,000 rupees, there are chances that, okay, I can definitely make even 25% uh, profit, but that is a, a theoretical equation. 
but practically there are very good chances of making five to six percent so we are not saying that okay let this hundred percent decay happen even one fifth of this decay happens we we will be very happy to close our trade so this is how it happens in double calendar spread there are other examples of double calendar spread also wherein instead of using one put calendar and one call calendar you can use two put calendars or you can use two call calendars also right so how was the performance in previous months for this calendar spread strategy as we have created a strategy members group we are giving you performance of previous months for all the other strategies what we have covered so far so we have covered fourth this is the fifth strategy so we will be publishing the performance of previous months in that strategy members group there is an exclusive playlist for that you can join that strategy members group and you can see that okay what is the performance in october what is the performance in november what is the performance in december we'll keep on publishing so this will help you to see that okay which are the strategies which suit your environment which suit your temperament and which are the strategies even without adjustments can they give me decent profits right so you can join this uh, by clicking on the join button or if you're already a member you can upgrade your membership another thing another important thing which i would uh, uh, tell you and which will be of your interest that okay uh, on our app we have uploaded a, a webinar on calendar spreads which is almost a, a 50 minutes webinar wherein we are talking in detail about even the greeks of calendar spread what what is a bullish calendar spread what is a bearish calendar spread so all of you can go ahead and uh, see that uh, free webinar and uh, and get some extra knowledge on calendar spreads and let me ask you one question uh, i don't know whether i have answered so far or not but what you need to tell me is in the chat window in the comment section is calendar spread a vega positive or vega negative strategy right is calendar spread of vega positive or vega negative strategy in a way i have already answered this question so there's another question is it right time to uh right weeks uh is low yes this is this is a low weeks uh environment as of now and from here definitely weeks will go up because there are certain events which are coming like on first of February, we will be having a budget which is a local event and then in between you always find there are certain global things which are happening in the market so they will definitely definitely increase the wicks so if you if you start this strategy uh, in a low wicks environment and market and and wicks goes up whether market goes down or whether market goes up wicks can still go up generally if, if market goes down wicks goes up so but if there is an event then also wicks can go up so definitely you will be benefited with the strategy right so as i said for free webinar on calendar spread check calendar spread on our app there is a link given you can just download the, the option school app and uh, you and then go to calendar spread there are many strategies i think four or five strategies on the app if you go to calendar spread there is a free content which is a almost detailed webinar on calendar spread that will be really really useful if you have any questions you can always write to us for your uh, questions right so a lot of lot of you are answering that okay it is both it cannot be both right it, it, it cannot be vega positive as well as vega negative uh, somebody saying vega negative somebody saying vega positive somebody saying it depends upon the wigs no uh yes it depends upon the wigs but whether it is positive or negative uh again check check it and write it in the comment section i'm not uh, giving the answer right now so you check in the write in the comment section and we will reply to each and every one of you uh when i've said that okay when the employed volatility will increase that will be good for your trade that means i have already given you the answer but whether you are able to uh, catch that answer or not uh, that purely depends upon how well you understand the greeks of this uh, strategy so excellent excellent strategy i i am going to discuss uh, on our app also okay uh, how to allocate money to different different strategies so in that also we have said calendar spread is one of the major component of your overall allocation let us say you are starting with let's say that's a 10 lakh rupees so how much money you should give to calendar spread how much money should be given to short strangle how much should be given to cover call so we are going to conduct a webinar uh, for all our app participants and uh, so you will get a notification there whenever we are going to hopefully it will happen next week so uh, go ahead and download the app 
see the webinar on clearance pad if you have any questions there is a chat window on app also you can always ask your questions uh, there also right so uh, see you on the other side of the app and see you in the next strategy we are going to cover many more strategies in this series uh, please please feel free to write your questions and comments in the comment section thank you